found the song, by the way. I had to look it up because it was bothering me. I, I don't ever need to know what that was or is because I'm no. never going to click that link. It's not good. I'm never going to listen to it. It's probably for the best. It absolutely is for the best. I know these things. <sighs> And you have to learn the words to it. Huh? You have to learn the words now. No, I don't. That's the rule. Since when? Since forever, man. Hi, everybody. Podcast, what's up? You bring it up while we're recording, you got to learn the words. No. Or at least enough to sing it out loud for the viewing audience or listening audience. I definitely don't need to do that. Then I don't know what we're doing anymore if we don't have rules. It's what separates us from the animals, Casey. Yeah. The animals don't know how to rap. Like, except parrots, probably. They, there's a lot of repetition. They could probably pull it off. Man. Right. What are we even talking about? Dogs could probably beatbox. It'd be pretty cool. I mean, they make that like weird whining noise. They make all kinds of noises dogs do. Yeah. Dogs can be pretty cool. Cats are better. Yeah. I mean, if that's how you're going with this, I mean, cats... <sighs> Dude... Cats make too many noises. You know what I'm saying? They got a whole lot of verbal commands and whatnot. Cats are like fucking drum machines. With... I mean, did you know that cats can make a thousand different sounds and dogs can make only ten? I mean, I feel like that would depend on the dog, really. Like, I tell you, man, cats not to be trusted. Yeah, but you know, they can so probably make confused. some dope ass rhymes. Probably. Shut up, Casey. Shut the hell up, Casey. <laughs> Is that what counts for dope ass rhymes from a cat to you? It rhymed. It did not. It all the, all those words rhymed. I'm just imagining rapping cat girls now. Thank you for that. That sounds awesome. I mean, that's probably no, it doesn't thing. actually. It did uh what was it called? Dead Man Wonderland or whatever it was called. I don't... The one with the zombie pop stars. No, that's not... That's not, not Dead, Dead Man Wonderland. That's an entirely different series. Um, there are that's... a lot of shows with very similar names. <clears throat> okay. Mm-hmm. Well, What's what was that one called then? We don't know. The damn the show one, is Dead Man Wonderland. The one you're talking about is Zombieland Saga. How do you know? How could I possibly have gotten confused? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this is the podcast this week. This is what happens when I let it be natural. Um, I'm Casey. What's up? Uh, we've got Kenchi. That's what she said. No, she didn't. Is, is it really? She didn't get Kenchi. She wanted to. But, you know fly too close to the sun you get power bombed off of the off the top rope it's... i don't do that to people <laughs> i've watched you do that to someone <laughs> uh zero is also here <laughs> yes i'm also here so ken you had a good match yeah, last week i did yes it was a very good match well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Apparently, a lot of people enjoyed it. Yeah, like, we... I had to mention I was not shilling for you when I said, yeah, that was probably the best match of the night. And other people that were not shilling for you, like, that were just there in the chat, were like, yeah, it, yeah, it totally was. <laughs> so, yeah, you did a good job. Thank you. Boy Wilkins is extremely easy to wrestle. The dude is smooth. And I didn't kick him 
like for reals once. Good job. To, to clarify, smooth as in, I mean, it's wrestling, smooth. so it's like it, skin wise or easy to work with. Okay. Come on, dude. I had to check. I had to check. It, there's not a lot of clothing, and you're sweaty and shit because it's exercise. And I don't know. All right. For specific sake, Roy Wilkins is a very good wrestler. And also probably thing, smooth. Sure, if that's where you want to go with it, why not? <laughs> the only thing he asked of me was that I did not suplex him. I was like, dude, don't even worry about that. I don't do that stuff. Any particular reason? Or? Uh, some people don't like getting thrown onto their back from six feet in the air. It's Gee, amazing. I wonder why. I was like, fine. And I was like, that's cool, dude. I'm not going to suplex you. I'm just going to kick you a billion times until I feel better about life. Yeah, I, 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 I meant more as like a reason you specifically don't like suplexing people. I That's just not how I wrestle. I can. just don't. Fair enough. <clears throat> But yeah, that was a good night. It's a good night for old Ken. Even and... though you lost. Well, yeah. In the first round. It, it, shut up. <laughs> Listen. Compared to four months ago, I'm in a great position right now. <laughs> All right, four months ago, I wouldn't even have been in this tournament. Yeah, that's probably true. You were probably like, I don't. Mm. I was gonna say on the same level of numbers, bro, but. Numbers Bro was actually in the tournament too. <laughs> so. God, that like guy's it. weird. What, dude? Numbers Bro? Yeah. Yeah. He's a good dude. That It's just his gimmick. <laughs> yeah. I, I appreciate the gimmick. It's just like, oh, wow. I just feel bad every time he's on screen. Uh. <laughs> uh and then there's the other, the giant guy that just mars at everyone, and he just makes me uncomfortable. Good. Which I think Good is intentional, one. but... Uh. Yeah. Ta- uh, fish tailing out from wrestling. Uh, I have another show this weekend. Yay. I was not I was not supposed to, but I got called by a friend of mine who was at the show I was at, and he was like, hey, Koga, you want to work... Saturday, and in my head I was like, not really, but I'm going to say yes because I have to. So I said yes. Because I should wrestle more. Even if I really wanted the weekend off, other than being lazy, I had no excuse not to. Hmm. So I'm on another show this weekend. It's not going to be recorded or anything as far as I know. Wait, so this isn't a CWF one? It is not. Dang. Which is a, which is kind of a good thing because I need more places to wrestle. Yeah, but otherwise, we can I'll watch never, those ones. Otherwise, I'll never get famous. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing this weekend. Uh, for as for what I did this week, since we we're talking about me, because you were talking about wrestling, uh, I saw a movie that none of you were ever going to watch. Oh really? Yeah. I saw a Stuber on Tuesday. Oh, uh, yeah. Apparently that screened at RTX, and people really fucking liked it. Yeah, I like that movie a lot. What's it about? Uh, it's about an Uber driver who gets shanghaied into helping a cop chase down a drug dealer. It's great. And well, I, I want got a tip. And I want it... Uh, I, I, I don't know. You're never going to watch this movie, so I can spoil it. But uh, it's fantastic. The reason I watched it in the first place is because Dave Batista was in it. And he's a wrestler. And I like him a lot. Oh. And Kumail Nanjiani is in it. And I liked him a lot. He's a funny dude to me. Yeah. And my boy, Iku Weiss from uh, The Raid, is the drug dealer. So I was like, three dudes in it that I have a fucking vested interest in? Yeah, sold. I'll break a five for that on a Tuesday afternoon. How yeah. cheap are movie tickets where you are? Uh, $6 on a Tuesday afternoon. Tuesday afternoon matinee. But then how's that 
breaking of five. Well, I was hoping you wouldn't ask me more questions, so I'd have to tell you it's six dollars. <laughs> you said that movie tickets were less than five dollars. You think my, I wasn't going to question is, that? You don't ask questions. <laughs> Shut up, Casey. So yeah, uh, I recommend if you get the chance, watch Stuber because it's kind of hilarious. It's very hilarious, actually. There are at least three laugh out loud moments in that movie as far as I'm concerned. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Other than Stuber, what else do I got for you guys? Uh, not a whole lot. I'm almost done with the new chapter of Naruto Great Clan Days for whoever is invested in that story. Um, I haven't had a whole lot of time to write lately because what with the wrestling and such yep. takes a shitload of time up. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, I've been playing Grand Theft Auto a lot with my friends recently. Oh, nice. It's a whole new world on there, man. A world of people that spent a lot of money and people that didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Right now I'm sitting on, let's see, $1.2 million. And I don't know what to spend it on. Because I can only buy one useful thing. And then I'll be broke again. Pretty, pretty much. I need to buy something that will help me make that money back faster. <laughs> but I don't know what to do with it. Uh, that's a tall order. <laughs> so, it's a game that doesn't exactly provide many ways to make you a lot of money. Yeah. Unless, by, you're, by really into, unless you're really into racing. Which I kind of am. But I'm not paying for fucking shark cards. Fuck you, Rockstar. I'm never going to do that. Yeah. Never going to do that. They do have something neat, though. When I jump back on, I learned that if you do certain things, you can unlock weapons like a stone tomahawk and a gold plated revolver. And now I can have those in Red Dead, too. So, yeah. Way to cross promote Rockstar. I'm still not buying your shark cards or whatever the hell your your Red Dead version of shark cards are. Thanks for asking, though. And what even would those be? <laughs> Force cards. I mean, vulture cards. I don't know. Probably wouldn't be cards anymore. Shark bullion. I don't fucking. Know. Bull bullion? I don't know. I don't. I don't up because I'm never gonna. I don't care. Bullion, so. but the bull is in capitals. God, Casey. I thought it was clever. And I don't really have much else, guys. That's all I got so far. Carry on. Yeah, it's a pretty low week. It's summer and shit. Uh, Zero, how you doing? How you doing, Zero? You good? Oh, I'm doing pretty okay. Yay. Uh, my dog's getting fixed today. So, no doggy around right now, which makes me sad. He's gonna be sad too when he comes home. <laughs> she. She. It probably remains true. And, uh... So, other than that, um, my uh, dad had his co-workers over um, and basically we went and he ordered like $300 worth of food because it's a company thing from Lucille's Barbecue. And I have never seen so much food. Just the, Here's this gigantic box filled with food and meat. Mm. And also a bag filled with more food and meat. It's, it's an it's an odd stipulation between food and meat. I don't... Mm. <laughs> is the meat not food? It is food. But also meat. Well, I like food and I like meat as food. But um brought that over. Um the other day we went to uh 
you know, this place Top Golf. It's like a driving range. We try to land it in the uh, different colored kind of netted areas to get points. I was sucking like every single round into the last one where I actually managed to not send the golf ball flying off all the way towards the wall and or into the sand pit or somewhere terrible. Look, it's not as easy as Wii Sports Golf. I know how to golf. I hate golfing, but I know how to do it. I, I like mini golf. I have never tried doing actual golf. It's just a driving range, basically. Um, <clears throat> aside from all of that, uh, you know, it's it's actually been a pretty chill week. Um, I, I will be gone uh, next week because me and my dad are going up to uh, North Carolina to meet up with our extended family. Where in North Carolina? <laughs> this is very important. I'm not sure exactly. Okay. I gotta go fishing though. I'm gonna give you an address. You're gonna go <laughs> there Saturday. And you're gonna watch me wrestle. This is next sure. week, remember. You know, I'm leaving actually Saturday morning. Damn. Out there. So Saturday morning I'm gonna be flying up there. I don't know what what time is your wrestle. It starts at seven thirty at night. Hmm. Maybe I can. Maybe I can do something. Flying cross country—that is entirely plausible. I'm leaving. Like, my flight is seven a.m. So. Yeah, that is entirely plausible that we could actually go. <laughs> it Assuming it's not like North at the Carolina opposite end of North Carolina, that would. Be I don't know exactly where. Um, <clears throat> but uh, find out yeah. when. Tell me. Also, but I'll be flying up there. Hi, Slicer, uh, by the way. Did hello. People, if, ow, if people are wondering what all the rustling is. Uh, Am I really loud? I had to had you turned up, so that might have been partially my fault. How are you now? Oh, gotcha. Uh, yeah, that'd be really cool if Zero could see that, actually. Yep, that's better. Hold, hold up a sign in the live stream. That'd be awesome. <laughs> different, different thing, I think, probably. I don't know. Oh, damn. Is the one next... I, Oh yeah, he's no. If he's out. going the week, if he's going the week after next, then it'll be the one that I'm always at that has Twitch. I'm going. It's this Saturday that I'm leaving. Ah, how long will you uh, be there? What was that? How long will you be there? I'll be there until uh, Thursday. Ah, well, never mind then. Well, you'll still be able to go to the one that's on Saturday, this Saturday. You can, but I don't even know where that is. <laughs> well, that's okay. Neither do I. <laughs> um, but uh, <laughs> I'm looking forward to uh, really not too terribly much has been going on. Uh, I did try this uh, Epic Seven that the uh, Discord is getting into. Eh, ish. It's, it's okay. Yeah, that's it's, pretty much the opinion. It's a nice thing to play when you're waiting for 8P to come back on Fate Go or something. Mm. I'm not really invested in the story or anything. It's rather boring in that regard. Yep. But the animations are nice. Yeah, they they really go all out for the animations and not for much else so yeah uh overall enjoying that um enjoying just really <clears throat> grinding for fake go to get my characters into a good state which i've made a lot of progress and i'm really happy with that uh yeah, I'm just trying to think of like of anything else of note happening lately. Because I didn't go and I didn't see any movies recently. I have been seeing stuff for The Lion King that makes me want to throw up. Um, <laughs> oh, that movie's so bad. What in particular? Uh, everything. The, the scene where uh, 
Mufasa uh, dies, I saw a comparison, and it is, oh gosh, it's so lifeless. Why do you need to remake this movie? Money. And and uh, I also heard they uh, they they cast uh, Ariel for the Little Mermaid remake. Um, not quite sure why they have to remake the Little Mermaid. Ugh, gosh, stop remaking things! Stop it! You remember when they had the concept of the Disney Vault, and they just like re-release all of their classic films because they could do that and it would make them a bunch of money. And I saw the trailer for the Mulan thing, the Mulan remake, and I'm like, that actually looks fine. I, I was about to say, these these live-action remakes are going to be hit or miss, and I'm actually really looking forward to Mulan, but everything else looks kind of garbage. Mulan looks fine. It's like, um, so they have... Um, recast Ariel, so no Ariel is black, which I feel like that causes a lot of problems kind of with the story. I'm not quite sure, because remember, she is like, what, she's going to England and it's like in the past. I don't, I think that might cause problems. Yeah. I'm not sure. Also, the whole granddaughter of poseidon thing who is greek and yeah. thus very not black i do you know that um at least in the cartoons or animated stuff isn't one of her friends black one of the yeah, other mermaids one of her friends so is, it's it's not completely unheard of it, it's one of the not impossible or unheard of them. but if you're gonna you know go for diversity make a new black princess you don't need to take a character that is because that's that's just like a you're doing it for the diversity points and b i think that's really disingenuous and it's like hey guys you you're gonna have some of our stuff instead of some of your own stuff that we make just for you just we're no take it like that's how it feels hey zero oh, yeah you remember the princess and the frog yeah it was and how great. that didn't do very well. Uh, it didn't. No, it didn't. Which is sad because it was one it fucking what's his name? Keith David. Fucking oh god, yes, Keith David. But you know that film not doing great really sent the wrong message of like, hey, let's not make new characters. Let's it's like just... I have Redo it. I have, I have no really problem. Sucks. Like I, mean, I have no problem sorry. with um, your characters being diverse. I have no problem with any of that. I just think that if you're going to make a Disney movie with um, a diverse cast, you make it so that the diverse cast is the original intention of the movie, rather than trying to reskin an existing movie or franchise because diversity points. No, I, I get what you're saying. Uh, I, I'm going to reserve judgment. I actually saw Far From Home. <clears throat> Sorry, I just ate a cookie. It's very dry. <clears throat> anyway, um, <laughs> I just saw Far From Home a few days ago, and uh, I'll admit, I hated MJ uh, in Homecoming. She's so different. Why didn't they just make a different character? But, and the fact that she's, I guess, more of a mocha, but black, whatever. Dif a different race than Caucasian. And, I don't know, it felt like a waste to just completely murder uh, Mary Jane's character in favor of this new person, when they could have just had a different character. But, uh, I don't know. She's, it feels like they're going about it a different way, but eventually she will turn into that Mary Jane. At least personality wise, I so I I, I will reserve. Judgment. That was that was really confusing because when that first movie came out, um, Homecoming, they said that was not the MJ from the comics. We just used her name was a reference. 
and uh, now they seem to be doubling down on trying to make that, her that's the not how MJ. references work <laughs> but that's what they said and i'm like okay that's uh, but okay and now it seems like they're trying to make her the mj yeah that's that's literally doing an in name only thing and that's the only <clears throat> the only reference yeah, to called her mj once in homecoming at the very end is like a little wink and a nod casey that's what i'm saying though uh she's she's a truth seeker and that's like that's kind of a character flaw in far from home she, it's a detriment she seeks the truth even when it's bad and so mary jane's character at least in the recent video game she is a reporter so they're kind of going for that mm. but yeah but so the, the, the thing goal... about her being a reporter was also a massive deport departure from her original character which was she was a friggin' supermodel oh uh, okay yeah, yeah, she she enough. was not... she was the stay at home wife when she when that relationship was allowed to be okay. Um, gotcha. So I'm not super familiar with comic uh, <laughs> versions of her. So yeah, that's the thing. I could kind of, almost not really, but sort of see the video game Mary Jane potentially going in that direction. Maybe. The... Um, this one for the film is so dramatically different and still likable. Like, I really but, like the character. Yeah, I do like just, her. And the I think name the, is completely pointless. I think the main reason um, for everything being so different in the Spider-Man, you know, Homecoming Far From Home thing is there's been two attempts at big Spider-Man franchise movies. You want to get away from those. And make your own thing. And that's really what it comes back to. And at the same time, you want things to still be familiar. And so it's a sort of a it's a compromise. Yeah. Of trying but, to do things different but stay the same. But at the same time, I was invested in... I don't remember what her name was because it was like four years ago that I saw it. But um, Vulture's Stacey. daughter in Homecoming. Oh, no, no. Other girl. Yeah. Yeah. I liked her too. Yeah, she was an I entirely agree. original character, as far as I know. Mm-hmm. Not really, but they kind of shoehorned her onto being Vulture, which she is not. Comics, they completely they, who they was she? Delayed. What was her name? Because uh, she absolutely is not Vulture's daughter. Her name was actually like another character in Spider-Man's. You know, I have to look this up. All right, you fire up that Google machine. Okay. Figure this out, and I will break it down. Okay, that's, that's not useful. Okay, uh, I'm probably gonna beat you to it. Uh, the... <laughs> MJ still gets top billing in that film, even though she was barely in it. In fact, she's not even fucking mentioned in the cast. Ah, yeah, Wikipedia. Liz Allen. Liz. Liz Allen. No. That wasn't... Liz Allen is not fucking related to goddamn Adrian Toomes in the comics. Not even close. So, who was she? Liz Allen eventually becomes Firestar. If you know so, who, who was she? <laughs> She is a character that eventually becomes a different. Missed that, Kenji. Sorry. She eventually becomes another superhero in Spider Man's universe. Hmm. Not related to the Vulture. At all. But uh, Marvel's going to do what they want at this point because. Yeah, because like, I remember they took Ned from uh, Miles Morales' story. Yeah. Like, they're trying to do an entirely different take on Spider-Man than usual. So, nothing's going to be, like, in the comics. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't even use that as a reference point anymore. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's becoming a weird thing at this point. Just, you think that's weird? Wait until they try to bring back the X-Men. No. I feel like the well has kind of been poisoned on the X-Men at this point. Hey guys, here's our here's our new Wolverine. 
that horse is dip. No, that dip will never fly. No, okay, yeah, zero is zero is right on this. That's a big name. It's he's very right. Popular. He's right, but it's not going to fly. If it ain't Jack, then people are going to shit. I don't it. Star want New it Wolverine. To. It's not Hugh Jack, and it's X twenty three. Um, we're not. We're, no, we're not doing but Hugh Jack. He was born as a man. That's going to confuse motherfuckers. <laughs> Yeah, no, they're going to shoehorn diversity into every single character. That is the nightmare. And just point at this. <sighs> Wolverine oh. is going to be X-23, but she was born Wolverine, so now she's transgender. And also, um, I'm trying to think. Also, also, she's from India. We need more <laughs> characters from India. That's random, Zero. There is yeah, actually a, It is random, isn't it? There is actually a Middle Eastern... Isn't it Captain Marvel or something like that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Some, there was a Captain Marvel that was uh, Middle Eastern, I think, yeah. It's not, it's not the one that you're thinking of, and she doesn't have the powers of the one you're thinking of, but yes. Yeah, there was one... There was some character whose powers could be passed on, and the latest iteration is Middle Eastern, a Middle Eastern woman, and it... The art was really good. I didn't see anything else about it, though. Hmm. Oh, well. It's... It's a thing where it's just like... I am fully for people of various um, diversities getting characters that they can look up that's perfectly fine but you're going to just no matter what you're going to piss somebody off if your solution to that is to not make a new character but to take an old character and then change them so that they can fit the needs of an entirely different audience yeah that's kind of pretending that's kind of pretending that no they it it was always everyone's white and everything and everyone's male and everything but we can fix it retroactively by making everyone diverse now all of these characters that existed we can just fix those because they were wrong before as people they need to be more diverse or they're wrong as people it's i don't i I honestly don't even care about the race thing. If they're going to completely change the character's personality and backstory and setting and stuff like that, that's that's a different character. Just calling them, uh, calling her MJ when she has a completely different personality, it, it's not right. That's just, it's murdering an existing character to, I don't know, piggyback off their success. That's not I fair. don't know. But, I feel like yeah. the MJ... Correct me if I'm wrong, I've been reading the recent comics, but I feel like the MJ in Spider-Man specifically has been trend is more trending towards kind of a, a later MJ who's more like she's more action savvy, I guess, for lack of a better term. Like she's more I'm gonna run and I'm gonna do the thing. Which feels a bit more like that, but yeah, this MJ is a weirdo. Which works as a character with Tom Holland but um, and his Spider-Man like, but it's yeah. not MJ here's the thing with original MJ she didn't work back then when it was somewhat kind of still expected that women would just stay on the sidelines and not get involved in anything dangerous and such it has not gotten better for obvious reasons. It does. It still continues to not work as a character in an action story when you have a character that literally takes no action and is just on, to be there on the sidelines as an, a character's girlfriend or wife. So it makes sense to make them more engaged with the story. But that just means you kind of need to scrap MJ <laughs> just in general and just have a new character. Mm. which you could absolutely do. There is nothing stopping them from doing that. Also, Spider-Man has had no shortage of women to bang over, you know, 60 years he's existed. So, you know, pick one that can actually do stuff. 
also, God, I think Felicia it, Hardy would have been so interesting to have early on in the story. It's just this whole thing with the uh, the Little Mermaid. I've seen lots of people of various races um, upset. It's it's not just like a it's not a matter of like people being racist or anything. It's a matter of why can't you just why do you have to change the original instead of add on to it? Like, why can't you expand the horizons of these characters and these worlds instead of trying to change something that is kind of in the center of that for the sake of bonus points? I I would have found it very amusing if they had an MJ in the film universe that was literally just MJ from the comics where she wouldn't do anything. <laughs> And then have another character that's way more interesting and more engaged in the story because, hey, yeah, <laughs> that's not who MJ is, so we needed I, someone else. I would rather that. I would rather have something like that, which is like, yeah, make make a new story in this world or make a new character. You don't have to just change the old one because that's just. It, it doesn't feel respectful to the original work and whatever problems you view the original work with having that's all just a product of its time and so make something that's a product of our time that isn't just okay but the the thing before doesn't exist this is the real thing now i don't know i guess they've kind of done that with spider-man as well I've got a, a friend of mine who's a really big Spider-Man fan, and he's in love with the comics, but the recent movies have just infuriated him because they're changing Peter Parker's character so much. I, from what I read in interviews, it's they couldn't do the same Peter Parker because, again, three Spider-Man movies and then the Amazing Spider-Man movies, kind of, they had to do something very different to get out from that. Yeah, like... I've seen a lot of reviews and conversations about the fucking Spider-Man series and the different ones in film and how the first three got Peter Parker right, I think, was the thing. Yeah, the first three got Peter Parker, Parker right because he was a dorky nerd and just kind of awkward. and ugh. But as Spider-Man, he was kind of shit. And then the Amazing Ones, it was more like, yeah, he's, he's too cool to be peter parker skateboard Spider-Man. but he makes sense as spider-man but as spider-man he was perfect because he was seemed cool under pressure and he cracked wise a lot that that's fucking spider-man um so with those two series they basically cornered the market on all of the spider-man between them so yeah the new one was kind of forced into a corner of we can't really do those because we'll get compared to both and be found lacking by both of them combined being better. Which isn't fair, but that's how it would work. So. Hmm. That was a really long, weird thing, wasn't it? Tangent. Yeah. yeah. So back to the original point, Lion King is probably going to suck, and I'm looking forward to seeing it next week. Wow. I'm. I'm <laughs> what? <laughs> That's where we came from. That's where we came from. That's where we started. <laughs> I'm not right. saying Lion King. Lion King. Uh, aerial benevolent racism and all that shit. Yeah, that's. Oh, I that's... refuse to see Lion King. Then I will I will take that bullet because it's uh, I'm already gonna see it. I mean I just don't want to be annoyed by the audience. So I'm not going. It's one of my the original is one of my favorite movies of all time. Yep. I'm not going to see the remake. I saw the Dumbo remake and I regretted it deeply. That's fine. I mean you, I told, you, we told you that was a mistake. There are only only so many bullets in that chamber. Let's not force zero in front of all of them. Yeah, I I think oh, I'm done. God. I saw the Aladdin remake. That was fine, I guess. Russian roulette is too good of a metaphor for the Disney remakes. 
I never saw the Cinderella remake. Apparently, there was a Cinderella remake. Mm. Wait, really? There was. Yeah, apparently. I mean, oh, okay. it's just Cinderella. I just don't really like Cinderella to begin with, so I'm not really interested in seeing that. I don't Even care. Just to the gauge's quality. Anyways, that's it for my week. Go about your weeks and talking. I, I just have Be Prepared stuck in my head, which is a shame because it's not going to be in the movie. Uh, oh. <laughs> or it is, but apparently they butchered it, is what I keep hearing from people. Um, so, Slicer, since we have you, yay, hello, Slicer. Yeah, I, I slept a long time, and I can only assume it's because of allergies. Uh, I felt fine yesterday, but my throat has been on fire, and I have a sore throat now. So if I sound gravelly, that's why. Uh, I have slowly been chipping away at The Witcher. Still playing that. Still enjoying it. I'm getting used to the combat. The combat is not good. Witcher 1? 3. Oh, okay. Uh, it's bad in the sense that if you press the attack button, you do not know which attack uh, Geralt is going to use. Geralt does a lot of flippy maneuvers, which make your attack take anywhere from 0.5 seconds to, like, 3 seconds. It's it's not that bad, but it is... You don't know what he's going to do, and that makes timing very difficult in combat, so which is, is a problem. Is there not, like, a consistent... Like, maybe you're holding the button, or it's a forward and button thing, or something? Well, you have a, hev- you have a heavy attack. attack and heavy attack. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and the heavy attack, because Geralt's acrobatics, does not always attack slower. Sometimes your fast attack is faster than your light attack. And it's strange. Uh, thankfully, you have uh, runes, and or they're not, they're called signs, but you just, you just use the magic button, and you can do various things, and that makes things a little easier. You can throw up a shield, you can blast a fire wave, you can blast a telekinetic wave, you can mind control people for a few seconds, so they can kind of dizzy around. Uh, if they're a little lower level than you, you can't do it with the higher level opponents. And there's one other one. On, oh, there's a really? magic magic circle uh, that you throw down, and then the ghost enemies are not ghosts inside that circle. Hmm. So uh, instead of like flying through you and doing hmm. a shit ton of damage, they just kind of harmlessly tink off your weapon. It's it's kind of great. Hmm. But uh, as I'm getting a handle on the combat, I'm finding myself more and more invested in the universe. And I think this is my Skyrim. Uh, I didn't like Skyrim because it felt too big and it felt like I wasn't doing anything in the world. The world was large and didn't give a shit about me. Yep. Uh, And this one, uh, I badmouthed a preacher in front of his audience and an hour later they sent hitmen after me. In the middle of town. It was, it was great. I loved that. The con- the the cause and effect is strong in this game. Uh, I hate like I agree with your point, but at the same time Skyrim did do stuff like that. Like if someone saw you stealing their shit, then they would send hitmen after you. Like, oh, it was... did. I'm not I won't deny that, and I don't know why it didn't hit me as hard in that game. Maybe it's because in this game I'm generally in the same area for long periods of time. In Skyrim, I was on the other side of the map. So the hitman that found me was a little ridiculous. Yeah, that's fair. I'm sure my experience would be a little different if I had decided to search out a question mark on the other side of the map, uh, because that's what uh, areas of interest are until you come up up and find them. They're just a question mark on your map. Uh, Then again, maybe they wouldn't have found me. It's only if you're in town they'll attack you. I'm not sure. Maybe because it's um, it's not Hitman, it's Witch Hunters, and they're in the the main town of the first area. That's where they're stationed. So the only thing about the Witcher I want to know is when am I strong enough to fight all the guards? Uh, the guards in the town that I'm in in the first area are level 29. I'm level 24, which means I do not give a shit if I get caught stealing because I can just kill any guard that sees me. This may or may not have happened the last time I played by accident. Mm. Because uh, there are many things that are ludicrous. Uh, most of them contain complete vendor trash. Uh, some of the chests in the fishing district will get you food, which is important because it's a low-level healing item. 
Um, and those are not easy to come by sometimes. So I was stealing fish. And uh, some of the chests are owned and some of them are not. And when you're just mashing the A button to loot an entire pile of boxes, some the one box that is owned doesn't really stand out. And then the guards were angry, and then they were dead. I, I feel like you brought that on yourself a little bit. <laughs> a, a little bit. I'm not yeah. going to deny that. It's fine, though. Uh, the, I mean, the time that it actually went poorly is um, there's called it's called Area of Interest. Uh, it is an, a question mark you'll find in the middle of nowhere, and it's monster infested. It's like a town or, uh, or a dock or even sometimes a temple. You'll find it, and you, when you murder all the monsters, uh, people will come back. Uh, you'll, the people will repopulate, which is another aspect of the cause and effect thing that's very strong in this game. You can actually take back the wilderness from the monsters. It's pretty cool. Hmm. And uh, usually there'll be a unique uh, merchant in that area or someone you talk to that you would not have been able to otherwise. <laughs> and um, in one of these ones, it was a little dock, and so I, I cleared it, and then I decided I needed some fish. And then all the guards that had just come back decided to try and kill me. <laughs> Motherfucker, he's stealing the monster's fish! <laughs> yes. Yeah. No. No, our fish. And uh, unfortunately, at that point, I was level 7, and they were level 25. It so wasn't I the had... monster's fish anymore. It was town fish now. Yeah, it was... Community fish. It was the people's fish at that point. And unfortunately, I was not a people. So... You're a dirty witcher. We yeah. appropriated this fish by entirely legal means of you killing all the things that owned it. Now you're trying to appropriate it by entirely illegal means. I didn't even know drowners knew how to work chests. Yeah. So, uh, so at that time I was really confused because when you steal a chest, you hit A to open it, and then you hit A to take each individual item, or Y to take all of it. Uh, if you hit A to open it, hit A to take it, a message will pop up that says this object is owned and if you're just mashing the a button or the take button or whatever uh that message doesn't appear for very long i had never ran into that message before so i skipped right past it basically and ignored it on accident mm. and then they tried to kill me and thankfully they didn't because i ran away bravely but yeah so I'm really enjoying The Witcher. It's a, it's a really fun game. I wish I had more time to play it lately, but I've been super busy. <coughs> uh, uh, I saw Far From Home, as I mentioned. Uh, we kind of already ranted a little bit about that. The movie was really good. I really enjoyed that. The movie was really good. That That's about all I can say without spoiling anything, honestly. Uh, Mary Jane really grew on me as a character. I'm still a little miffed that they basically killed the old Mary Jane for this new one, but whatever. Fuck Brad. Yeah, we already talked about that, so. Which one is Brian? The Brad. Ah, right. Okay. Yeah. He um he was a dick. <clears throat> but yeah, he was always a dick, so that's fine. That's kinda his thing. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I can't think of anything else that I've actually done. Uh, I'm sure I'll probably think of something in a few seconds, but yeah, no, I, th I think that's it, really, of note. Work's going all right. No real change there. Yay. Oh, uh, speaking of work, I might have mentioned I kind of fucked up my back doing something a few months ago, mm. and so I have big bone-hard knots in my back. Mm. Awesome. Uh, I've been seeing a chiropractor and my doctor about that. Uh, so hopefully something will come of it. I'm on basically, uh, it's called Baclofen. It's um, muscle relaxers. Mm. So uh, I didn't want to tell my doctor, but my mom has scoliosis, and so she has some medication for that already. She has Baclofen for her own issues. And um, when I was doing all this stuff that caused the back injuries to begin with, uh, my mom let me use a few of those pills. So when the doctor's like, hey, you'll probably feel drowsy if you've never had these before. I didn't want to say I've already had them because that's illegal. Damn. You're not you're not generally supposed to share medication. So uh, so I don't have to worry about them making me feel drowsy because I already know they don't. Mm. That's the only side effect of them. He says after having slept for 13 hours through his alarm. 
yeah, that's more of a, I don't sleep a lot on work days. Mm -hmm. I sleep like three hours, which is not good, but I do it anyway. Mm -hmm. I work five days a week. So I'm pretty much perpetually running on a half a sleep state on my work days, Mm -hmm. which was yesterday. So I, on my days off, which is today, I tend to sleep a lot, not that much, but I sleep a lot. So that'd be why, maybe. Mm. It could be the it could be the medication. I'm not going to deny that that's possible. Oh well. Mm. <laughs> uh, and so, so yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's my week. Cool. Video games, back drugs muscles, and, and, drugs and Spider Man. Yeah, drugs and Spider Man. Sounds like a hell of a week. Oh, and I'm gonna pet dogs on Friday. We're going to the Humane Society, uh, society. Yeah. Uh, one of their branches nearby. So I'm gonna go pet dogs at cats. Oh, it's oh, gonna be great. Yeah. Oh yeah. Doggy dog. And then D and D right after that. Yeah. So I have a very, yeah. uh, very busy Friday. I need it, pictures of Slicer with the dogs. I, I mean, there might be pictures. I'm sure. It it has suddenly dawned on me that. Spider-Man would probably be a really bad film to watch while on drugs. That, uh... Yep. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was trippy enough. Like... Oh, boy. Ooh. <laughs> uh, yeah, so my week has not been great. I have not had many problems with allergies myself uh, ever since like you know summer is my bad season for that um but you know just a little bit itchy eyed but you know uh have felt like completely god awful in my stomach for the past week like pretty much since we recorded the last podcast so that uh hmm that was not the greatest I'm gonna turn Slicer down because he's typing typing sorry um so, yeah, that's it's not been a great week, and I've basically been able to do pretty much nothing uh, for the past five or six days. Um, so, for the sake of getting back into writing and actually meeting my quota for once, well, not for once, I only missed it last week, and that's the first time I've missed it in months. Um, I wrote a new thing, which is the Kingdom Hearts thing that I mentioned uh, a while back. I don't remember when. Before Kingdom Hearts 3 came out and disappointed me enough to shelve it. Um, Yeah, so I wrote the first chapter of that and made it basically porn. Because the concept itself doesn't lend itself to much more. Well, it depends. We'll see when we get there. But for the time being, it's porn. Okay. Um, sure. Yeah, Zero's uncomfortable because he doesn't like porn. Wait, what's? I didn't see that. What's the King Hearts thing about? Uh, what's the premise? It's Ventus is the protagonist running through all of the games. Everything's gone silent. It's that good to me. My connection just red blind I think due to connection. Uh, Ventus oh. is the main hero running around and then it cut. Uh, through all of the games. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so that's pretty much the story concept. And there are things that I'm going to do to make that happen, and they're probably going to throw everything out of whack uh, as that goes on. And I don't know in what ways, so that's going to be a fun discovery for me also when I find out that I completely ruined the story and have to abandon it. But for the time being... <laughs> I enjoy it while you can. Hmm. Yeah, so that was an interesting thing to write. Um, I'm glad you had fun. Zero, stop being awkward. Um, <laughs> I can't help it. So, it's made me consider playing Birth by Sleep again, because I remember that's actually a really good game that is not shackled to all of the garbage plot of the rest of Kingdom Hearts, and so was able to basically just do a nice uh, Star Wars riff for the entire plot. (laughs) That was pretty good. 
Um, was that near me or was that someone else? <laughs> Fucking sirens. Um, <clears throat> did I do anything else this week? No, not really, just the sick thing. And then the writing. That's pre pretty much it. And fake go, because that's, you know. Did you have any good foods or drink lately? Not really. No, oh, okay. I know you like to kind of experiment with mead, so I wasn't sure if you tried anything new. <laughs> I... I had foods and meat. I... He didn't say meat, he said mead. Uh, I have not had meat in quite a while because it is somewhat expensive and I uh, recently uh, found out that I'm probably going to have to be a little more fiscally conservative than I am which is to say very which is an upgrade from moderately that I'm currently doing um, so that's interesting and I'm going to see how that shakes out before I make any luxury purchases like an entire uh, like rack of bottles of mead or anything like that. So that's how that goes. Hmm. Sad times. Hmm. Anyway, so that's pretty much me for this week. Well, I'm glad well, you enough. had a nice time. I didn't. I mentioned being sick and not being able to do anything for a week. I'm glad you had a nice time. <sighs> Zero just kind of uh, pretended he didn't I'm hear right anything about my week after I mentioned porn, didn't he? <laughs> Look, there's nothing wrong with adding to the hetero pile. The tiny... It's not even a pile. The hetero... What's smaller than a pile? I'm kind of had a brain Bunch. fart moment right now. Yeah, the Bundle. handful of hetero Kingdom Hearts store stories on top of the mountain of Yowie for Kingdom Hearts. Mm. So, I'm okay with that. Let's yeah. add some goodness to the, the evil. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Going maybe a little far. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. It's it's not regular Yowie. It's high school AU bullshit. It's not you good need stuff. To, it's a light versus darkness battle, are you saying? Yes. Sure, let's go with that metaphor. I don't, I don't hate Yowie. It's the shit that I don't like. It's like, <laughs> why? Why would you do that? Why is Axel a model? Why is he? And, okay, I look at know. Axel. Look at Axel. That's fair. He is yeah. an attractive man, but <laughs> still, I don't. I just don't like modern AUs. I just don't. They're just bad. Yeah, they are. Thinking of Hearts has a lot of potential. Let's not throw that in the garbage for a modern thing where everyone's a desk jockey or whatever. I don't know. Here's the thing. It has potential, but you have to really fucking prune that shit of a plot for actually finding anything worth doing. Well, if you try to work with the plot, yes. I mean, the setting. There's a lot of potential in the setting itself because it uses every world, so... If you don't have a, if you can't make something out of it, then you're just bad. Mm. I don't know. Maybe I'm gatekeeping a little bit. I don't I'm, know. I'm sympathetic to people that try and make something out of Kingdom Hearts and fail because they try and then they see, okay, so let me look up all the things I need to pay attention to so I get this plot right. Fuck. Yeah. And then the story yeah, the, gets abandoned. The, the three hour Team Four Star video <laughs> getting people caught up for Team uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah. Yeah. I, I had to drop a disclaimer at the end of uh, the first chapter, specifically saying, no, none of the mobile games are a thing. It's very relevant that I had to say that because Ventus is in them, despite them being set like 100 years before the main games. And they never fucking bothered to explain that. So, yeah. You, don't don't worry. Nobody ever dies or gets older in this series. That's a fact. Oh, wait. No, they do. Except for when they do. Or they fade away into mist for bullshit reasons. 
Just when you walk, walk away, you don't hear me say. It's kind of sad like that I'm saying. worried about us getting copyright struck for that. <laughs> that rendition, they're, they're so stringent that I could see it happening. They don't care. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. I also relate to you having a bad problem for health reasons. Getting sick sucks. It I, just really shot, does. I just took a shot of vodka. <laughs> Any particular oh, reason? Fuck. Nah, no reason. I just wanted to. Just a private Every drinking time. game He's for someone. A lifelong drinking game. Someone nah. sings a Kingdom Hearts song and you have to take a shot. Is that? Look, it's two forty in the afternoon. I don't scumbag. Let me let me drink. Let me drink. Let me drink my cheap vodka. Uh, okay. You didn't even get good vodka. No, you kidding me. There's there's barely a difference between bad and good vodka. Let's be real. It's, <laughs> okay, it's that's, nail that's polish fair. in a bottle. It's... Hey, you stop talking bad about my potato liquor. Hey, I like vodka. I'm not saying I don't, but it's not exactly a flavorful drink. It's alcohol, is what it but tastes you can like. Have nail... But you can have nail polish with a slight hint of peach or strawberry. Or bacon. Or something. Or I had that once. It's that's, really not as good as it sounds. That's not awesome. that good at all. <laughs> Which should tell you everything you need to know. It was it was called bacon with a K. It's really bad. <laughs> uh, I had a full bottle of that and I gave that away because it was that bad. Um that is bad. Yeah. I literally just took a shot of it and I was like, nope. Hi, friend that went nope. to the charity shop. Do you want a full bottle of vodka? Sure. Cool. You you enjoy that, is how that exchange went down. So, hmm. Uh, yeah, that's all. That's, uh, I, I ran out of things to talk about a while ago. Yeah. Yeah. We did the Patreon thing last week, right? Yep. Hmm. Any recommendations before we go? Watch Stuber. The movie is fantastic. Or it gets out of theater because I don't think it's going to do very well. <clears throat> you ever want to, want to see an Uber driver catch shit for less than two hours? This is the movie for you. You know what? Sure. You ever want to see an Uber driver drive around a blind Dave Batista? For you. That does sound like a, a lot of fun, though. But we'll see. Slicer is type detyping, and I don't know whether that's relevant or not. Oh, he likes to do no, that a lot. I was just responding to someone that messaged me. Hmm. Oh! My mic is unfortunately right next to my keyboard, so I can't yeah. help. Uh, I'm just trying to type slowly. One other thing that uh, did happen was I put forward payment for that commissioned artwork that I'm trying to get done. Uh, and they sent me the last sketch thingy before they work on the final piece that I can now show people. Because, yay. Hang on. Oh. There we go. I don't Show know me. where this is because <sighs> Windows is a butt when it comes to opening attachments and you can't just save it places. <laughs> yeah, so this is the last sketch that I will not be linking because it's only on Discord and stuff, but yeah. There we go. Yeah. Oh. That looks pretty nice. Yeah. So that's the draft of it. And the final one is going to be like full color and everything and look really good, hopefully. So. Ooh, sweet. Yeah. Who is that, by the way? Uh, it's going to be an adult version of Queena from One Piece. Ah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. 
Yeah. Yeah, I like that. That's good. That's nice. Yeah. A woman that isn't just, like, gigantic tits and then no waste whatsoever and no internal organs. That's going to be a bit of a change for One Piece, but, you know. Internal organs are not necessary for life. In One Piece, probably not. Like, most of the time, like, Frankie has a fridge in his stomach. His abdomen, rather. He doesn't have like a stomach. Like I said, they're not necessary for life. Yeah. That's what One Piece teaches me. Yeah, it's fair. No, as long as you have spine and the skin to go around it, you'll be fine. Yeah. One Piece yeah. teaches me that you enjoy f nuts. Which is accurate, because... I don't know I what he just said. If you enjoy fruit, you can't swim. Which is accurate, because I enjoy all kinds of fruit, and I'm not sure I can swim. <laughs> I, can, I can float. I, That's about I it. can swim quite well, and I'm not particularly partial to fruit, so this actually bears out. <laughs> Go figure. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much the episode. Thanks, everybody, for listening to the Final Fantasy Five. Jeez. Uh, yeah. If you would like to... Yeah, I don't think they have a thing against cheese. It's just the fruit thing. Do they have a thing against cheese? I have a thing against cheese. Why do you it's have a thing against cheese? What's wrong with you? It's delicious and I want to eat it. That's my thing I have against it. How is that against... Well, I suppose eating something is kind of a pretty strong statement of... Yeah. <laughs> Large amounts of cheese makes me vomit, so I guess I technically have a thing against cheese. you got to be pretty aggressive about something if you want to eat it a lot. Um, oh, yeah. Patreon is a thing. It's linked in the description. Also, if you want to get in touch with us, you could... You, 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 jump, jump. That one wasn't intentional. YouTube channel through the comments or through the Discord. Again, link in the description. Once again, thanks everybody for listening. See you guys. Bye. Bye. That's it? Okay. I, I, don't know, I don't know what's wrong with my tongue today. It's just kind of decided... Did we ever say what episode this was?